See that he can't just do a little cameo shout on the podcast out. for five oh, fucking out. yeah or shout out. Yeah. He don't yeah. even gotta give it no context. Just say SMH podcast at the end exactly, of his video. Man. And I told him I'd suck his dick if he did that. And that right there <laughs> alone should be a big enough incentive to put me on and put us on, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, Philly will do it too. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no sir. I didn't sign up for that. Certain certain lines will not be crossed. Yeah. <laughs> SMH Podcast. I'm your host, Bushido Spirit. And I'm your co host, Philly Boy 08. And we have a special guest. Yo, it's Flip Anime. Special guest. Come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta speak with your chest, man. You gotta be harsher, man. Just, yes. oh, you okay. gotta scream it, man. Say Squeeze it like, your. You gotta grab your balls when you say it, bro. <laughs> Clench your they butt can, cheeks. They can tell. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> There you go. Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, yeah. This is Flip coming at y'all. New uh-huh. special guest bringing on some new content. Flip Anime, check out the channel. You know, you know. You sound like, yeah, this nigga sound like Bush. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to add a little whoop de whoop or some shit like that? Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Um, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, people. We got a lot of stuff to talk mm-hmm. about. I sound like Chris Rock when I repeat myself. You know, you know how Chris Rock do his comedy. He just say the same right, shit. Get into the topics, like goddamn. <laughs> Why are you trying to rush, man? No, because you always be like, Philly man, you take too much damn time talking about <laughs> shit that don't even matter. You over here talking about Chris Rock, bro? Like, come on, that, man. Look, that, that was a, that was a detour. I wasn't gonna stay on it long. You tend to drive a car and just drive the completely off the fucking road and onto a ditch or some shit. And you stay there. You stay in the fucking ravine. Right? Can we talk about the topics, boy? Like, look, <laughs> look at this mm. shit. Uh, three uh, three minutes in, and look out. Like, come on, man. Hey. <laughs> chill, chill out, chill out, man. But you know, we we're not even gonna get to the topics yet because we're gonna talk. We're gonna ask uh, we're gonna ask Flip Anime some questions right here, man. All right, yeah. Let's... Uh, ask him some questions, man. Because I mean, a little Q and A. Yeah, 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 a little Q and A before we people people want to get to know you. All right. That don't already know you. I think you more you're probably more popular than us. Are you? No. <laughs> Probably. <don't. laughs> uh, I have like uh, like a hundred something, two hundred subscribers. Oh, we oh, shitting sorry. on him. We shitting on him. We got, got three sixty five. <laughs> oh yeah, I got. Oh yeah, I'm three hundred. Oh okay. yeah, he got you by a clean hundred, man. We were... All right, yeah, well, your well, math you know. is all the way fucked up. Two hundred, boy. Yeah, I mean, he said. Well, he said it's one hundred or two hundred, man. It, it don't matter, goddamn. It don't matter. But what, what is your channel about? Because I saw a couple of your videos. I saw the. Uh, what is it? Stride, the anime you did a Stride oh, yeah. review. I saw, I saw you uh, review Jimmy. And I was like, this dude is kind of interesting. I like his content. I like the way you put things together. He actually puts work and effort and time into his videos, unlike some people. And I'm talking Ooh. about myself, by the way. But uh, <laughs> he, he actually, he actually <laughs> takes time to shape his thoughts. And do you do scripts? Yeah, yeah, I do scripts. Sort of script but... things out and uh, it just uh. What what gave you what made you go that route? Cause some people just sit in a chair and in, in front of a camera. Spinny and talk. chair review. Yeah, yeah. It's spinny chair. <laughs> um, uh, what made me go that route? Cause like, so like for some things, like I guess I could do like a, a live thing, but like if I really want to like get like some good comedy or like some good moments, like I just gotta write out a script and just get all my ideas down, you know. Yeah, it's sort of easier that way to, to write out the script, so you're not yeah, just babbling. Yeah, yeah, and that way you're not always, like, just trying to scramble what you want to say. You know, you got something to go by. Yeah, you know, I said, um, and, and shit like that <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, you said, you, you mentioned the spinny chair reviews. Did you get that uh, from Jimmy? Because Jimmy called them that a lot, the spinny chair reviews. Uh, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the first place I heard that term being used. Um but so uh we're not gonna we're not gonna name any names of uh, any spinny chair of years you know, so you're a your personal friend of jimmy oh no 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 yeah. i'm not a friend of jimmy it's just like i've been watching um like his stuff and some other people's stuff uh in terms of like anime videos so okay because he's been 
we know him pretty well on a personal level, and he's been on the podcast okay. once before, I think, maybe once or twice. And you know, I don't know. When I'm not around, Bush replacing me with random niggas. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> he may have filled in one of those weeks. I mean, and we, and and we still have him blown up, man. That's, I'm, I'm sort of disappointed in Jimmy, man. We, we was cool. You know, oh, but he, he, he started getting subscribers. Yeah, he started getting, he started acting a little different and stuff. He started, started talking. Uh, he, he left the hood. He started yeah, he going left, up there. Yeah, White he, folk, he, you know. You know how it is, man. He left yeah, the community yeah, yeah, and everything, yeah. man. And he all, he all chilling with Giguck and shit and, and yeah. holding it. We used to always something like, hey, man, put in a good word. Put to, a homie to gig up and he'd be like what well, do you know he calls him guard he's like you know guard he just <laughs> you know he's really selective about who he who he chooses to promote and he's just a i'm like really he's so fucking busy that he can't just do a little cameo shout on the podcast for five fucking out. yeah or shout out yeah. he don't yeah. even got to give it no context just say smh podcast at the end exactly, of his video man. and i told him i'd suck his dick if he did that and that right there alone <laughs> should be a big enough incentive to put me on and put us on, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Philly will do it too. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. I didn't sign up for that. Certain certain lines will not be crossed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but uh, Flip, what, what is your what is your what is your um like what is your descent like? What do like what are you really your um like where did your parents come from and stuff? Because you got the flip anime thing and I and I and, I th- and I'm thinking of is, is that like some that is that like Filipino or something? Oh no, man! No, I'm oh, from man. America, dude. Because oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking sure. of like a flip top, um, the battle rap league, and I know Filipinos like to put that flip there, like, like oh like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, man. Just you know, came from came from America. <laughs> are you like? Black. Are you? Uh, are you like? Uh, what are you like? Asian, Latin, or white? No, nah, man, I'm black, dude. <laughs> <Are> you black. <laughs> Yo, I yeah. swore I you just called this dude white before we started I'm just, recording. I, I'm, look, I'm just asking. I, I'm not calling him white. I'm just asking. Are no, you black, I, I was, like African American or <laughs> Nigerian? See now, the African American. Yeah. See now, now, now I feel like uh, now wait I feel. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You bad. light skin? You no. light skin or dark skin? Uh, probably like a medium. Like both my parents are black, so I'm not like white, like mixed or anything like that. Oh, okay. So you you sort of you 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 kind of completely threw me off with that avatar, man. I was like that that avatar. Uh, I was thinking that, that that was a representation. Of, well, no, <laughs> man, no, that's just that's just you know a little pick, you know. It's not it's not the full representation. So I, mean, I, I can go full on nigga with you because uh, you yeah, you're black, yeah. man. I, see, I mean, I. I, I kind of feel bad. I kind of insulted you, like your Philly Bush saying. Don't, I was, Bush don't I was, do none of his I, fucking research, man. <laughs> I mean, he sounds different in the videos. I figured like he was Asian or something. I saw, I saw the flip. I was like, oh, so Filipinos. Do you, like, do you, be, flip, do you be whitening it up for the video? <laughs> I'll be whitening it up for the do video. Do you use your white people voice? White people? Oh, you want to hear my white people voice, man? No, I'm just saying like for the videos. Like, do you do you say, oh, right, fuck it. I got to appeal to these white ass nerds. So no, here you go. Well, no, like, I mean. I don't know. I guess when I'm when I'm talking, like when I have a script in front of me, I talk different than when I was like just regularly talking, like talking to y'all now, you know. But okay. like, no, nah, I wouldn't say I do that. I mean, it, it might come off that way. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, man, you do. You certainly come off as one of the good ones, man. So I mean, but, shout, shout oh, out to you, right. man, for doing that. Because I mean, sometimes you need that. You need to do that. Because uh, I remember I was talking in my 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 ghetto fashion, my. My ignorant mm. state, and you know, some people in my comment section like, "Go back to Africa." Well, like, they're calling me the n-word and shit. It was like, "You savage! You, you, you! This is this is." They, they would call us the ratchet TMZ. And I'm like, how can you get more ratchet than TMZ? Like, yeah, I <laughs> they said we were worse than TMZ. So I'm like, uh. So some people don't like the. Um, yeah, yeah, but you know they they don't they don't understand. You know, like. Sometimes you just gotta be yourself. Yeah, sometimes you, know, you, you gotta can't, be yourself. Yeah. You can't, can't, uh, can't act a certain way just because the viewers are like, you know, gotta yeah. be white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't do that, man. See yeah, that? don't don't say that shit to Bush. Bush, uh, Bush always trying to find new ways for us to sell out. <laughs> he just waiting for us to get just big enough to sell the fuck out. Dog. I'm telling you, man, I'll sell this motherfucker quick. Yeah. Oh, like, man. <laughs> like I literally like I be telling people like as soon as. As soon as SMH really pops off, Bush is going to somehow destroy it. Like, uh, what? he's going to be like, uh, 
he gonna cite creative differences and then do his own thing. Uh. Like the shit will immediately go to his head. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, well, why, why would you assume that, man? I just, what's the so what's the what, what's the what's the prime sellout time? Like what the prime what, sellout time? I'm thinking yeah, once like, we hit about a hundred thousand subs. Uh, yeah, that's a hundred thousand. Yeah, I mean, pretty I mean, pretty that make, big. That makes sense. That's that's pretty big for a sellout, man. I, 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 like, I, I mean, you sort of giving me more credit, nigga. I sell out at, at ten thousand, man. I, I feel like, <laughs> like by that <laughs> point, by that point, we'll have to get rid of Wushi finding a motherfucker, replace it with something more politically correct. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, like, isn't she beautiful? Like, <laughs> Woo, Wu, she's strong than a motherfucker. Like Wu, she's she's we, we successful than a motherfucker. A oh, successful Woo. businesswoman. Wu, like she don't. Wu's. <laughs> Woo, she don't need a man. <laughs> something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, something like that. You know. Something yeah, like I mean, that. Yeah, yeah. We, we I, I, in Philly, you speak of that, but I'm already, I'm already planning on erasing this shit completely from the podcast when we get big enough. So, you know, what that's you mean? like all the <laughs> old calls or what? From, completely from the podcast, it won't exist anymore. What the podcast See, won't exist? No, the wool she find motherfucker won't exist. See, that's that what bullshit. you gotta do a season two, season two of the <laughs> SMH podcast. Revamp the series. Yeah, we got oh, to do, do it. Might be dope. Two. I don't. I don't like putting in work to add new content, but I do like mm-hmm. the idea of a season two. It makes me feel like I'm doing something. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Better production, higher budget. <laughs> yeah, we come yeah, back. Like it's that. the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just talking different and shit. High quality right. microphone. We all got British accent. Yeah, I know, right? Watch well, just blow the fuck up. Yeah, I know, right? You probably would. <laughs> But yeah, we we go we go on. I, I, do you have anything else you want to say, Philip Anime, about yourself? Um, you want to promote anything before we get into the news? Uh, well, yeah, you can check out you can check out my channel, Flip Anime. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, doing experimental stuff, you know, doing whatever seems cool, whatever I like to do on my channel. And yeah, you know, I'm, one of these days, one of these days, maybe I'll blow up, maybe I'll stay <laughs> underground. You never know. I mean, you I think it's far more blow. likely that you're gonna hit a thousand subs. <laughs> And they still get the same amount of views. Like, <laughs> you're get 80 views per video. Yeah, like that, that's kind of the worst thing when that happens. But you get frustrated like six months down the line. God and promote it, that man. Get on that. It, get on that Facebook. Get on that Reddit. Get on that yeah, Twitter. You're you gonna get tired of it. And yeah, you know, yeah. Like, and then how many then, times? I, I don't I can't count how many times I've been trying to promote on Reddit, and they end up blocking me from doing that. So <laughs> you can't do that you, no more. You gonna stop? You're going to stop making videos, and then three months later after your last video, you're going to be like, I know y'all wondering where I'm at. I'm coming back <laughs> with new content. Hey, real life got in the way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back. Real life. And then you're going to upload another video like a, a week or two after that, and then nothing again. The nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm back. You know. yeah. I'm back after two years. Uh, I've seen that shit. Still that love happens. anime. <laughs> I've seen that shit happen so many times, bro. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. I, I be on, I be on message board like I got a like I got a fake beard and, and mustache on and shit. I'm 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 super you? anime fan thirty four. Check out this video. I think he's a great reviewer. Oh yeah, you gotta pretend like you you not yourself. <laughs> oh, like yeah. you just a random fan promote. That's what I'm do- like. I think that's the what promotion I, that's, that's what I do, but I keep that on the DL. You know, the promotion should be done by our fans, like the fans that are listening right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Do the footwork if you want us to be Yo. successful. If you want us oh. to have the budget to do a lot of shit, like right, right. spread it to your friends, man. Spread it, spread it online, spread it everywhere. Support the Patreon. Tell your donate. family. Yeah, PayPal. <laughs> we got PayPal. We got Patreon. We got everything. Exactly. What I want y'all to do, actually, because I feel like this would make shit a lot more interesting, is I want them to go for the, to the woo she find and the motherfuckers, like the bitches we pick. Go tell them. Go tell them, hey, these niggas was roasting. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas oh, killed it. I mean, <laughs> no such thing as bad promotion. So these niggas know. killed your life. And then, just... Actually, I think I think your most viewed video was a uh, a Wushi finding the motherfucker. I wouldn't be surprised. I think it might be either that or a hentai review. No, and then pro- y'all did a hentai review. It's, it's probably that. It's it's that a uh, pedophile doll video I made. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, yeah. And then people, just, a lot of people want to hear about pedophiles and dolls and shit. Man. I guess we thing, gotta do they, more of those. They tell these like they tell these chicks about who she found in the motherfucker. They go on the video, find out we've been roasting, <laughs> get mad, post something on it. Instagram and Twitter about us, and then bam, exposure. Oh yeah, that, that's right. They, yeah. They're not gonna do that shit though. They, they don't want these bullets no more, dog. 
amateur artists, like amateur models, such and such, slams up and coming podcast, SMH. That's going to be on media takeout. <laughs> Hey, man, it, ain't, it ain't gonna be up and coming it's gonna be some random niggas on youtube <laughs> right two fucking bums on that's the promotion we need though yeah that's the type of stuff no, no such thing as a uh, bad publicity bad promotion yeah, yeah. but uh, let's, uh let's actually get into some news hey stuff. what the fuck we, we don't do what we watching no more oh oh, oh, oh you you right speaking of what we watching oh. Philly, i'm gonna let you take i'm gonna let you take that away since you Really interrupted me. What, what are you Ooh. watching? <laughs> my, it would be my pleasure. Uh, shit. Damn. Porn still. It's a mainstay. Mainstay in my... Uh, Traditional. Yeah. Um, How the fuck you, you going to mention the shit that don't have nothing to say? Dude? No, I'm just saying, like, I mean, you. I figured you would have shit to say. You over here... I don't mean to spoil it, but you you don't seen a bunch of oh. movies. You watch, you watch a bunch of shit on Netflix. Like, come on. Uh... Me, on the other hand, I'm still just fucking with manga. Uh, Black Joke, okay. I've been reading a little more of. It don't got enough titties for me, so I think I'm going to drop it. What? Um, yeah, it just didn't have enough titties for me to that's, keep me. That's always a killer, man, and I don't know if etchy, man. Yeah, if you're going to be etchy, go. If you're going to be an adult manga, go all the way. Exactly, um, man. Make a bust it open, though. And what else? A comic got killed, just dropped. I'm still watching that. Staying up to date with Bleach. Um, oh, you said, you talking about the manga? Yeah, the manga. This I just recently read that today. Uh, it looks like it's coming to an end, and it looks like it's coming to an end in a similar fashion as the uh, the anime, which is not good because the ending in the anime sucked dick. <laughs> um, and just as far as anime, I'm waiting for this fucking season to end so I can watch the Boku no Hero anime. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. For that. I'm thinking about. Do you follow the manga, Flip? Nah, nah, I'm I'm, I'm waiting for the anime though because it's looking like it's gonna be pretty, pretty it, fire. The manga I'm in love with, and the anime after what they did with One Punch Man, I know it's not the same studio, but after what they, I was I was so cynical about One Punch Man, but I ended up liking the anime. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's as much room for improvement for Boku no Hero because One Punch Man, the plot for One Punch Man was all over the place, and the aren't, anime made it more centralized. Aren't the um. Wasn't Boku no Hero um, also? That was also about like heroes and everything too. Like people making comparisons about those. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably the only comparison between uh, One Punch Man yeah. and, and like there is kind of, in the sense that the hero ness is regulated. Like there's an academy and right, or they make it into like almost like a business or a competition. So yeah, and in, in that sense, it's similar. Um, other than that, yeah. I'm not really watching too much i'm wait, 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 i, I want to go what, see that movie that? what's up what about that other manga you mentioned before the the podcast you said you were what, reading what was oh hakaiju <clears throat> hakaiju it's a kind of a horror science fiction manga that i'm kind of getting into it's only about 20 ish 15 i think maybe chapters long but it's got like really giant monsters that's the name kaiju so if you uh, uh is that you 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 did you start reading that shit because of the deck in Yu Gi Oh? No, nigga. <laughs> oh, he's talking about Yu Gi Oh, uh, kaiju cards in Yu Gi Oh. No, nah. if anything, I started running the deck because I like giant like monsters. So I mean, shit. If I think the the your average anime fan probably ha doesn't really know too much about Godzilla or hasn't watched a lot of Godzilla. Like for you, Bush, you were into like kung fu flicks um, when you were younger. And oh, I guess yeah. still now, but for, for me, my equivalent to that was um, Godzilla films. Uh, that that mo I just couldn't get into that. That motherfucker always looked super fake to me. Like that's clearly a <laughs> motherfucker in a rubber yeah, suit. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. I mean, that was the kind of thing you you just really only watched it for like the plot and then the the, the fights. Plot. But when it yeah, the plots were actually not so bad. Uh, I guess it had to be good because the motherfuckers had no budgets, yeah. <laughs> no type of budget. No, man. like you you know what they do, right? <laughs> Like they get, they either get, uh, they usually get a guy in the Godzilla suit to run around a small recreated Tokyo yeah. or some shit, and he just like jumps real slow. Yeah, that'd be a fun ass job. You just just destroy shit, <laughs> like shit. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all liked, um, for instance, I think the most American fans probably can relate to Kaiju. What was that movie? Pacific Rim. Pacific. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the closest you're really gonna get to kaiju. That or, was sort of trashy though. Like you can you can barely see the fucking monster. I didn't think. Fucking. I don't know why people gas up Pacific Rim like that. Like that movie was 
pretty. It was really fucking shitty. It was really shitty. I don't like, know why people like it so much. It made no sense. Like, what's the point of putting big ass, super CG edited monsters on the screen? You can't see the motherfuckers because it's too dark. And yeah, you, like, they all look the fucking same. I'm like, who's winning? <laughs> I don't know. Did he? Is he winning? Like, like who punched who? But uh, Cloverfield is a pretty good example. It's an excellent example oh, yeah. of a, of a modern day kaiju film. And then oh, also. Uh, there was, a, uh, there was one film that came out. Uh, it's like I think it was a Korean film. It was called Host. That shit was fire. You need to check that out if you like. Was it Giant movie. Monsters? Yeah, you need to okay. check that shit out. And then of course the Godzilla that came out. But I'm just not hype about Godzilla movies because, um, because of the travesty that was like Godzilla 2000. It was oh, a <laughs> very. It was a shitty movie, and I never wanted to see Godzilla in the shit, theater. Godzilla like 2014 was ass. Yeah. <laughs> the one that, with uh. <laughs> With the dude name? from Breaking Big Bad? Yeah, Cranston. Brian Cranston. Yeah. I always remember him as the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle, yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't shake that. Like, I don't know why. Breaking but, Bad was good, though. You, uh, but that's it for me. Okay, uh, Flip, you want to go? You want to go next? Um, sure, yeah. Um, in terms of manga, the only thing I've been reading is, uh, JoJo. Uh, Bizarre Adventure. And, um... Now that's that's that manga is kind of like is the, is the manga just as, as homoerotic as the uh, anime? Homoerotic. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just asking, man. Like, I see the motherfuckers do the poses and stuff. I'm like, I <laughs> I can't really get into this. I'm not, I can't criticize it because that that'd be like that'll make me a homophobe. You know, I feel but, like that would be right up your alley. <laughs> well, oh, see, I, I, see, I don't I don't I don't take that kindly, man. To them uh them slights, Philly, chill out, man. I mean, shit, like you but be I, into I, that. Fruity shit, though. I, do, I, do, I, I can't even complain because I do read Torco and that's super gay. So, but uh, I mean, uh, tell tell us a little bit about what's going on in JoJo. Um, well, I'm not caught up yet so far because oh, um, <laughs> he just started yeah. reading. It. <laughs> um, um, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty decently far into it, um, now, and they're just starting to release it in like English because like for a long time JoJo was just like Japanese only, you know. And then the anime came out and then, you know. Like, we gotta get this, we gotta get these Americans. Yeah, yeah you gotta get these money. mangas out, you know, <laughs> make that manga money. So they started getting those out. So Yeah, but um it's pretty cool. The new anime is coming out next season for um part four of JoJo, so what, what do you think uh, about this season? Because this season kinda ass. Like, this you... it is a little bit ass, yes. <laughs> but um to me it doesn't really have a standout show. Um, to, so far, the, the only two that have been making, like, any sort of, um, new shows, but, um, that have really been, like, people have been watching are, um, Erased, um, people watching the Myriad Colors, the Lego show, um, and, um, Konosuba, which is another, like, online, well, not online, but another fantasy world sort of thing. Oh, okay. But, um. Yeah, this season been season's pretty, pretty weak. Uh, weak, but um, they're like I liked a uh, race so far. A couple problems, but you know, spring season is probably gonna be a lot better. Yeah, me, me. I think me and Philly started. <coughs> we started a race, and we, we mm-hmm. uh, came to the conclusion after watching this shit. Oh, I, I did that. It was probably gonna be the best show this season. Yeah, but that's Probably, not even yeah. to say much about a race. That's just more about the fucking season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like I tried watching. I tried watching a couple of stuff. Like I tried watching the little snack show, mm-hmm. uh, the Gashi Kashi. I tried watching um, this one show called Haruchika. Um, there are a lot of short shorts. You know those little short and oh yeah, stuff? the three minute ones. Yeah, yeah. there's so a I lot think, of those this season. I don't know if this is purposely or not, but I think me and Bush have been uh using this opportunity to kind of go back and watch yeah, some old catch anime. Up. I know Bush yeah, yeah, was yeah. watching Roroni Kenshin. Oh, and okay. I, believe it or not, like there's a few things that I'm embarrassed of as a uh, as an anime fan, but one of them is never finishing Cowboy Bebop. Oh, you haven't uh, finished why, Bebop? Uh, uh, why are you embarrassed of that? That shit was boring. Yeah, it was boring. <laughs> that's why. That's why. Like, that's why I could never finish it because it was fucking boring to me. Like, Bebop I get through, was boring to you? I, yeah, I get through three episodes and be like, uh, okay. I remember like, when I was a kid watching that shit and I was confused because people were talking about how good it was. And this shit yeah. confused me because I was like, uh, this, shit, this shit ain't better than Samurai Champloo, man. How the fuck am I watching? Like, I gotta watch Champloo. <laughs> like, you said it's understand. easier to watch Champloo? 
Huh? Yeah, I still need to. I still need to watch Shampoo. Oh yeah. Oh, you you haven't? I think. I want see, to that. It's just when I've been watching some stuff like, I've been um, I went to go back and watch Gurren Lagann because I haven't finished that. See, I think uh-huh. a lot of people are, are of the mindset, like, if you like, if you really like Bebop, you probably won't like Shampoo. Well, they're like, the same director. It's not, and that's the thing, like, they share so much, but there are two different, types different. of anime fans, and yeah. one of them, one of them likes Shampoo, and the other one just likes Bebop. Like, people, yeah. the people who prefer Samurai Shampoo will look at Bebop and say that it's boring, and they don't really get the style, like me and like yeah. Bush, but the people that look that like bebop and look at shampoo think that it's like the the story i think is too disjointed uh well of the, a of a bebop of of samurai shampoo oh okay but i think the same could be said about bebop too well weren't they wasn't shampoo like a really episodic series as well uh episodic in what sense like each episode was a new like a new story like a new like adventure they yeah. went on. Like there'd be like one that carry on into the next one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, continue. If you uh, what else you're watching and stuff? Oh yeah. Um. Um. What else have I been watching? Um. Any like outside of anime? Outside of anime? Um. Not a whole whole lot really. Um, nothing on Netflix, nothing like that. I've been watching some of the Boondocks on Netflix. Okay. Oh yeah, that's Boondocks, my shit. Man. Are you are you rewatching it or is or is it a uh, for the first time? Um, I finished like some of the older seasons like back, but I'm watching um finishing up season three of the show. Okay. All right. Uh, let, let me let me talk about what I'm watching then, uh, or, or what I'm reading. I'm trying to get into comics. I can't. I, I, for some reason, I can't really fuck with manga like that. Like, manga is a chore because you gotta. You gotta start from the beginning, and with comics, mm-hmm. they, they they start over after a certain period of time, so you can that's, easily jump into it. That's the thing that kind of like put me off of comics, though. I like, mean, it, it did to me for like, but I, I came back around to it. Yeah, because there's like eight different retellings of one. Yeah, story. it's like every <laughs> other year, it's like a whole new continuity. So it's like everything right. you learned before. Oh, is we like, changed. We changed the origin story for this one. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why there's like. 50 Batmans, like... But it, it sort of makes sense, because if you, like, if you try to get into something like One Piece, you might as well kill yourself. Oh, well, yeah. Like, that shit... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gintama, that shit is, like, long as fuck. Or Hajime no Ippo. Oh, oh, my God. Mm, if you watch episode a day, you'll be done in, like, four years. <laughs> if, you read, if you read the manga, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. That shit is super long, bro. I, like, I, I just can't do it. And with comics, it's easy. I can just jump right in. And comics get... They got new writers and new artists and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. It's more of a joint you know, collective effort by the, the companies to put different writers on different things. So you sort of get different takes and, and perspectives on the character when somebody else writes it. And the only reason I um, I got, because um, I, I, I recently picked up Iron Man. I keep saying Iron Man, fucking Power Man and Iron Fist. I keep putting their names together and shit, <laughs> making Iron Man. But uh, it's power, fi- uh, it's Power Man and uh, Iron Fist, and I picked it up because uh, Daredevil. Because uh, they, they, oh yeah, it's, it's I still this- need to watch season two because I watched season one and that was really good. Oh yeah, season season two is fire, by the way. And okay. it, there's, uh, there's all this talk about uh, the Defenders and and making yeah, this whole universe. Yeah. On Did Netflix. you watch uh, Jessica Jones? Still haven't watched that shit. I watched uh, like the Jess- first three Jessica episodes. Jones is good too. Uh, I don't know, man. I just, I, I, I never, I can't, I don't know. I just, I didn't, I don't have as much of a push or drive to watch that as I did for Daredevil. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But I, I'm going to go back and watch that because uh, it's, yeah, sort, of, it's sort of linked it's gonna, to the cage. It's going to be connected to the, def, the Defenders or whatever they're doing for the, um, for the new uh, series. I heard uh, David Tennant's performance was really good. David Tennant? Who is yeah. that? Yeah. David Tennant, the, the evil guy in uh, yeah. Jessica oh, Jones. The purple Jessica, man? He used yeah, to be the Dr. Purple, the purple, yeah, the purple guy, whatever. Um, all them, yeah, all his, them BBC actors are fucking awesome, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was pretty... He, yeah, he was good in, in uh, Jessica Jones. Well, we, we get their best, man. They, they worst actors stay over there in fucking... Uh, yeah. <laughs> in the UK and shit, we On get their islands. best actors, yeah. But, yeah uh, all them, I, all I them BBC up, go shows is good, except for Luther. 
Stop, man, stop it, man. Salute <laughs> <laughs> the fire, man. But I picked up, uh, you know, Iron, Power Man and, and uh, Iron Fist, and that shit is fire. And one of the reasons I picked it up because uh, this uh, writer, his name is uh, David Walker, I think, and he and he did, uh, he, he resurrected Shaft, and they said it was good. And of course, he's he's he's, he's African American. Mm-hmm. You know, so got got to support got to support the brothers out there writing. All right, all right. And they and they say he good. So I, so I copped. Uh, Power Man and Iron Fist, and, and it's good. It's good so far, man. I don't know who who's the artist is, but the artist has done good, great work with illustrations and stuff like that. And uh, I'm waiting for uh, Tanahasi Coates to drop that uh, Black Panther book because they got that that shit coming out, the new one. And you know, Tanahasi Coates is a great writer. I think he, he might be uh because I know Marvel was trying to get him to write the film too. So like, I don't know if they're gonna take his writing on this new the, the book. And uh, put it to the film. I like. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but uh, I'm sort of excited, man. I'm excited. You know, one thing I'm I'm really trying to question where uh, manga and anime go, and how that relates to like the new age of technology. Because for some reason, I've tried it, but I do not feel like. For instance, if I if I want to read a book, I can do that shit on my phone or my tablet or my laptop, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. Like it's just like reading a book. It it takes very a very short amount of time to get used to but mm. with comics i tried to read it on my phone and my phone has a fairly large screen it's an android device but i'm like i can't really i have to zoom in on the text like because it's just the format isn't right like comics aren't meant to be read on such a small page and yeah. even to an extent manga is kind of the same way right like i'm reading one piece on your phone without zooming in is impossible do you know what I mean? And uh, when you zoom in, it's kind of you have to kind of decide in which way you read, and you can't see the full picture, which is the whole point of of a uh, m- uh, manga uh, or comics and shit like that. So I'm just I wonder how that's going that's going to transfer. I think you even run into that problem on tablets too. Like it just doesn't look right. I think well I don't think we'll, well bigger, I don't think we'll ever abandon though the the paper format. Like, oh yeah, that's. I mean, I, I still love the paper format. Like, it makes my eyes hurt to look at the fucking screen all day. That's just. It's, it's like so many. You look at the anime fans on YouTube and shit, and you just everybody's got that bookshelf full of shit, and I just don't think that that's ever really gonna go away. No, nah, it's not, man. You got you got to keep the paper around. Man. Yeah. You got to kill. You got to kill a bunch of more trees and shit. <laughs> I just you know, don't gotta... think it'll. I don't think it transfers well to to tech to the current tech that we have. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, but it's, it's it's still some like actual books work well on it, but like comics and shit like it, it don't. I think the biggest threat from them is just these animated films that seem to be coming out so frequently. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like I, they'll, I, I they'll take a story a from the comics and then put it in the thing. Sorry. I was gonna do a topic about that shit because over there in Japan, it's going they they going crazy with that live action shit. Like they got a live action erase coming out already. Yeah, live action erase, live action Death Note, it's like, Attack damn. on Titan, uh, Anohana, Assassination they Classroom. Got, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> you you get a little small bit of popularity, and your shit turned into a movie over there. I'm waiting for that live fun. action Boku no Hero. Man. You you know it's coming. <laughs> you know it's oh mm-hmm. you know what? Speaking of that, yo, uh, we, uh, I had a segue. God damn it, Philly, shit. You fucked it all, right, all well, up. Now that, now that I've already fucked it up. Yo, <laughs> I remember being like six years old. I saw a live action Dragon Ball Z once. And I'm not talking oh, about Evolution. Dragon Ball Z Evolution. Oh, really? There was a oh. shitty one from Japan. God, it was so <laughs> shitty. Uh, but yeah, it's terrible. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say, speaking of that, um, UTA is teaming up with Viz Media to, the to fuck develop. The UTA? <sighs> Nigga, I'm a t- United Talent Agency. Okay, well, you need to say that shit, man. <laughs> nobody know what the fuck you team is. I was going to tell you that shit, man. Well, they teaming up with Viz Media to develop live-action anime content. And this is very important because UTA is has a, a great roster of people, actors, like actually good actors. And they got musicians and stuff like that. But uh, Such as? The actors consist of you know Johnny Depp, Angelina Jolie, uh, Susan Sarandon. Harrison Ford, Owen Wilson, Michael Douglas, uh, Gwen Patro. I, I fucked up my name. What's up? Paltrow. <laughs> I say Paltrow. Paltrow, not Paltrow. Uh, Janet Tatum. They got Kevin Hart. They got a, a bunch Kevin of. Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Hart on there. Yeah, they got a bunch of. I thought you said talent. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh, they got Brian Cranston. 
Yo. Who the fuck is that? Oh, make a breaking bad. Malcolm's dad. Oh, <laughs> yo, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker forgot that fact. <laughs> <laughs> they also got T.I. What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, they got a... Uh, it's like a huge roster of musicians, uh, writers, filmmakers, and stuff like that. And they joined the forces with Viz Media. So this live action shit might start to pop off if they uh, mm-hmm. put the right people in these the right so roles. You're saying that they might do live action anime, essentially. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, like, that's what they're going to do, yeah. Live action anime, like, I think, like, certain genres are harder to pull off in the live action. Like, when you have stuff like Dragon Ball and, like, you know, one piece and everything that's like really action, like really c- crazy stuff going on. Like it's hard to really do that in live action and make it I not mean, look corny. But people, people say that the the ending of Superman was essentially that. What the the first super uh, the Superman movie? Oh 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 yeah uh, yeah that's right. They always say like okay if there's a Dragon Ball Z movie, it needs to be done like this. Yeah, they can, they can definitely do it. Even even with the shitty hair and, <laughs> and all the other <laughs> extra shit that comes with anime, they can still do it. They just gotta. Yeah, it's it's possible, but they just gotta find a. They just gotta really like you know get the right people. They gotta they gotta give that, that that Christopher Nolan treatment. They gotta like make it try to make it more realistic and like, they gotta do away with the hair. And sort of make it kind of similar, but not too fucking funky. Yeah. Like motherfucker just yeah, put a huge I mean, bottle of mousse mm. on his head and shit. No, it, like it, I think I think it doesn't. That won't make. They can't. No, Dragon Ball needs to not be one of those movies. It, that won't transfer. Well, let me let me read the article right quick. I think for you, it's man. Uh, a lot of it is the hair. Like I merely imagine that in real life. Like, yeah, I, I would know, explain it, what I think, but Bush gonna be like, "No, you take it too long." <laughs> so go ahead, Bush, please. <laughs> it says says Viz Media, a publisher, distributor, and licensor of Japanese manga and anime properties in North America, is teaming with UTA to develop live action programming based on titles from Viz Media's catalog that includes oh the uber popular Dragon Ball Z. Oh boy. Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh. Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, other, Pokemon? Yeah, they say Pokemon. And other, a live action we, Pokemon? We see Ben Affleck as our ass. Oh shit. no. <laughs> That's probably a, probably a better representation than the anime. That motherfucker's like 40 years old, though. Um, I, mean, oh, I kind of want to see a live action Pokemon movie. That would, but would they? Would, mm, That's the CG. No, we think the CG the, would. I think they could hold up, and then I think that the the trainers, the trainers would be. You know what? A live action Digimon movie makes way more sense, oh, only stop because it, stop. no, only because <laughs> in that world the monsters are supposed to be digital. Like, oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're so right, they could get away with true. making the CG a little like. They look like fucking computer <laughs> monsters. They look like a video game. It is a video game. Uh, right, the, oh. You know what? That, that, that'll, make them, that'll make the motherfuckers get lazy as fuck. They just put on PlayStation <laughs> 2 graphics up on that motherfucker's screen. Yeah, looking like the first Tomb Raider and shit. But shit like, like Nintendo I, Virtual Boy and shit. That'd be some oh. shit. Like, I'm just trying to <laughs> imagine, just for some reason, I think because they're, I think there's a lot of young talent in Hollywood. Think Something like a Pokemon movie I think would be awesome. Oh yeah, get Willow Smith yeah. in there, dog. I was gonna say Amanda <laughs> Stenberg. Amanda <laughs> Stenberg. Who Will, who Will Smith for? Willow, Willow Smith, Smith doesn't even act. Like when the fuck has she been in the movie? <laughs> she on, she, it makes more on, sense to put Jaden in the movie than Willow. She on, I mean, she on UTA roster shit. Like, hey, she is. Yeah. Like, has she ever been in any like movie? Well, they got they got musicians mm-hmm. and shit too. So, <laughs> but. Uh, I would kind of want to see Amanda Stenberg be a Pokemon trainer. Well, you just love that guy. You would got that. She's a good actor and she's beautiful <laughs> and she's seventeen she and she's she almost is. eighteen. So. She, oh, you gotta add it almost eighteen. Just say she's seventeen so everybody can throw this hate at your ass. And <laughs> who? Who? Uh, what would be the male role? It's got to be a white guy because you can't have yeah. a. Be a right. white guy. That would Brock be a black guy? A black person, but a young. Uh-uh. No, would Brock about to be whitewashed. Black Brock about to be Michael B. Jordan and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine that nigga in the vest too. Um, Misty Misty about to be that who that bitch with the big features. She was in the Help. She was uh, Gwen Stacy, I think, in Spider Man. Oh, you talking? Oh, about um, oh, what was her name? Uh, what the fuck is her name? She got the big ass her face. Name. <laughs> she got the Wait. big ass cat eyes and shit. Let me see. Gwendolyn uh, Maxson or Maxine. No, that's that's not even close, boy. What the fuck? I know, right? You're not even close. Yeah, I, I right. know that that's not it. <laughs> Let me. This is gonna fuck me up. Hold up. I'm look. I'm googling it right now. 
Uh, yeah, Emma Stone. Yeah, Emma Stone. Emma Stone yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck is Gwendolyn Maxine? <laughs> oh, I was, I was, I was looking at her real name on the uh, Marvel. Oh, <laughs> the real name of Gwen Stacy. Oh, okay. Let, let me let me read the rest of this shit, man. Let me see. It say we are excited to start this partnership to push the boundaries of storytelling, <laughs> innovation, and characters. Innovation. Let's say innovation and characters through Viz Media's prolific portfolio. Said UTA's Howie Sanders, co-headed department so this motherfucker is the co-head of the book department this partnership will create new opportunities to capitalize on hollywood's strong interest in remaking japanese anime and monk into live action features these motherfuckers don't have an original thought in their head in hollywood <laughs> like damn they just, they just take his shit they just keep remaking shit over and over I think, again i think they do it's just that it's a it's a big risk and oh, they're yeah, not yeah. willing to take I mean, that. I mean, you know? man, fuck it, man. You gotta take risk. I mean, yeah, that, no, I, yeah, I would love it if they did, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like how, um, with anime, like a lot of, most anime is adaptions, you know, light yeah, novels, true, true, manga. They do the same shit over there in Japan. So it's like, you know, why, you know, they already know they have a, a little fan base that they can, you know, people like they know the people who are fans of the manga and hype it up. Yeah, you can so capitalize like, you know, off that fan base. Yeah, but I, if I you got I, something new, you know, unless you got like a big name on it, then it's like, you know. Yeah, that, that's people, what I was going to say. Like, if you got, if you put a big name on anything, it'll sell. Especially if it's. If you it's know what I think? You know what I think? No, there's no way they're getting the licensing for that. I'm just thinking of some of these anime, and I, I don't think they'll be able to get big name anime over here. Like, I can't, I can, I can never imagine them making a One Piece live action. Mm. I mean, like they they, they did can. something close to that with Pirates of the Caribbean, but like having a, I just don't think they'll Japan will let that property outside of Japan. Uh, it might, I don't yeah. think so. Uh, they did they did with Dragon Ball Z. That shit is huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that shit was old. But too. I think yeah, like I, that's what I'm saying. Like, later. It's, it's over. <laughs> you know what and this, they're just trying to milk the money from that. Because I, I think I think Dragon Ball Z had a had a bigger impact in the past for the Western. Like fan bases, while like One Piece has always been really big in Japan, oh, yeah. and you know people, there are some people in like America and stuff who like it, but like that like cultural impact it had like you know in the early like late nineties, early two thousand. I think Bleach could could definitely do that. Live action. Yeah, I think Bleach can make the crossover. Oh yeah, Bleach. Mm. I mean, it's 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 basically a goddamn movie anyway. There's no writing involved in that shit. Just put flashy. <laughs> okay. Yo, <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> what about Naruto? Nah. Uh, no, no. Nah, See, all these movies, I feel like like One Piece. I feel like will make an excellent uh, CG movie, like like how they do um, Ice Age and Zootopia and shit. Uh, I don't want to see that. I feel like when seeing seeing the rubber shit. To me, like uh, the gum gum shit, I feel like, <laughs> and seeing the characters transfer to me makes more sense in CG than anything else. Do you think the arm? Do you think him like stretches his arms and stuff would look all right in live action? Yeah. No. What but didn't they do it, that with uh? Did they mess up Mister Fantastic shit in the Fantastic Four movie? Mess up in what sense? Like made it look like, like shit? Yeah, his stretching looked like shit in that movie. That's what people say. I know. I never watched the film though. I didn't watch it either. That's what I. That's what I think. Like it's just. It's a hard. To, it's hard to make that seem cool in a live action setting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah speak, speaking of One Piece and, and Luffy, you want to talk about that fight that just ended? That fight? I watched about half of it. <laughs> did, you watch, did, did you watch the fight, uh, Flip? Nah, I haven't. God been damn it! Man. And, I, and I sent you. <laughs> Look, Bush, you, you linked me to the fight, but the shit was an hour long and in <laughs> Indonesian. <laughs> it was. You know I don't read One Piece. How the fuck was I supposed to know what was well, going on? Well, fuck the fight. Well, I just I just want to I, I want to talk about it briefly because uh, I didn't like how it looked. But uh, I mean I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on since nobody else. I mean let's really still, want to say something about. I it. still think um, that his gear fourth form looks like shit. It, it does. It, it looks does like look butt like cheeks. Shit. It just don't look mm-hmm. cool. But I understand. <laughs> I understand it's supposed to be like one of those um, actors. Yeah, you know, like the the Japanese guys when they wear the face paint and they're on stage, they wear like all white face paint with the little like. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. I know what you. I know what you're talking yeah. about. I can't think of the name. Of the name. Yeah, nobody was helping me. Like motherfuckers, <laughs> <laughs> let me die. I was like, come on. What do you? <laughs> but I think because I because I remember I did see when he transformed, and he was like hopping on one leg, 
which that I think shit is was stupid. Like, which I think is like a a, a throwback to kind of like that's where he's drawing the reference from. Yeah, this my older has a, a shit ton of references. So I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't think anything in One Piece is fucking original. Do you think One Piece ever gonna, <laughs> is ever gonna end? No. <laughs> like, he got too many references out. This motherfucker referencing everything. Goddamn slavery, uh, fucking uh-huh. civil rights and shit like this. Eminem. Like this motherfucker is referencing every single Wait, thing. Eminem. <laughs> yeah, like, like uh, if you look at um, what's his name, the electric dude. Oh, fuck. fuck and no. Yeah, if you look at it now, that motherfucker looks like Eminem. <laughs> like. Like, there's no doubt about that shit. You got dudes who look like Michael Jackson and shit in there. So, this motherfucker is referencing everything. This shit will never end. He got a ton of material. He references shit worldwide, <laughs> not in just one area. So, like, I don't know. And I, I don't know how long. I mean, dick riders stay around for a long ass time. I was a dick rider at one point, man. I was a dick rider for 10 years. So, <laughs> oh, <man>. veteran <laughs> dick rider. Yeah, veteran dick mm-hmm. rider. Yeah. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> Experience in riding dicks, man, yeah. and uh, and you know, I get, and I'm assuming new fans join, so you can get they ten years added on, and you know, they'll he'll lose some dick riders, but some more dick riders will hop on the dick, and it'll it'll go on forever, just a dick riding cycle. Mm. So I, I don't think he'll ever lose fans, and I think it, it might continue forever because there's there's an incentive to keep it going, all that money that's yeah. bringing in. So just keep dropping these movies and making these books and shit like that, and then it'll the money train will never end. God damn it! But uh, let's uh, let's move on to something else, man. I, I want I want to bring up my boy, man. My boy Roy Jones Jr. Let's let's go to the watch uh, together, man. <laughs> let's let's go to the watch together right uh, quick, man. Uh, <laughs> Make Actually, it was Jimmy that brought this to my attention. He was like, "Hey, man, your boy fight." I was like, "Who?" I was about to link you too. Yeah, I was about to. I saw that shit on World Star. I was like, "Well, oh, Jimmy linked that shit to me live." I was like, "This motherfucker, how did he know Roy Jones is fighting? Is this a is this a big thing? Like, where is he fighting?" He at? linked it to you to the live stream of the yeah. Thing? It was it was live when he, when he linked it to me. I was like, "What the yeah. fuck?" I don't know. But let me let me. Uh, is everybody in the watch together? Yeah. yeah. All right, let me play this shit. And li- listen, listen to the broadcast. You be like, I remember that voice. Hey, you know what? Let, let me pause it right quick. Uh, wait, the fact I think let's just take a step back. Roy Jones Jr. is so washed up at this point that he's fighting literal literal niggas off the street, <laughs> <laughs> like, random nigga. Like he cannot fight at a professional level anymore, so he's getting this paid. Is- to beat up cab drivers. <laughs> this, shit, yeah. this shit making me mad because a, a, a boxer writer wrote, and I agree with that motherfucker. He was like, Who the Roy fuck Jones, is going before? Who's wait, that, that's, that's uh, don't, never mind. It was like, Roy Jones uh, Jr. is a disgrace to box it now. <laughs> he just wrote that shit. He was like, Man, I'm tired of this shit. Roy Jones is ruining his legacy. And he's ruining mm. the sport as a whole. This is a this is this is disgraceful. And he was like How right angry right now. Let me let me let me watch the video. I, I wanted to watch it this way so you people could actually hear the sound. Certainly did. It's hard body shot by Roy Jones. Let's see. Well, he's done. He's done. He probably got paid to take a dive. That nigga could have knocked it. So he got paid to take a dive. <laughs> That's it. That's a smart stoppage from West Melton. Oh, we can't even get a good replay? I didn't even see him get hit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is a low-budget ass box. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Rock yeah, bottle rope and shit. Is that, is that fucking uh, the wrestling commentator? <laughs> oh, J- J.R. Lawler or something like that? Nah, yeah, I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but you, you, you close to it, man. Like I was like, damn. This motherfucker, and this motherfucker retired from wrestling like almost 10 years ago. There was a whole bunch of bullshit. I think Riff Raff was hosting this shit. Oh, we said Riff Raff? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know if it was a nigga that looked like Riff Raff or what. I, but. Think, I think I got an article here about the fight, man. Let me let me read this article right quick. Because uh, I don't know who the fuck licensed this nigga to fight. <laughs> so he got know. knocked out like eight times in the past <laughs> month. So I don't, I don't know. Say, uh, what do you say? Uh, watch Roy Jones Jr. knock out overmatched fan. So this was a fan of his. He's knocking out his fans and shit now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that, that'd be an interesting fight with the subscribers. I, it would. I think a hundred. I think a hundred grand was on the line. I think they mentioned that. Yeah, it was a hundred. It was a hundred grand fight. Yeah. 
say, uh, once considered the best fighter on the planet, Roy Jones Jr. has gone from a decade of pound for pound greatness to becoming a sideshow act that beats up fans. Damn. On internet pay per view for eleven ninety nine. People had to pay for that shit. Yeah, the people had to pay for that shit. Who <laughs> <laughs> the hell fighting Andre the Giant and shit? That's like this shit got no sponsors. You don't see. <laughs> Look at that ring, boy. You see? That shit playing. It ain't got nothing on. They, can, <laughs> yeah. they can't even afford the color on the ropes. And that looked like a. That looked like a, a fucking. Uh, what do you call it? A, a mattress. That I don't know. Look like a regulation <laughs> ring. You ain't see. You ain't see no sprite. Nothing. No Coke advertisement. That they shit went look to, like they one went, of them. Uh, they went to a sponsor. It was like, fuck no, I ain't sponsoring this bullshit. I ain't put my name on it. That's that, they went to like, it looked like one of those uh, Muay Thai rings. And like, like the alley, yeah. like in like a, uh, some and like a different country and shit. And shit. Yeah. yeah. So they got uh, no color nowhere. They couldn't afford red paint. Like, what the fuck? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> Low budget, yeah. Had it says, uh... The best years may be behind the 47 year old Joe. That nigga's 47 years old still fighting. Yeah, he, he needs to go golf or something. I, like, fucking <laughs> at, basketball players don't even be in the, in the goddamn nah, sport. Michael that long. Jordan knew when to step down. Yeah, and, and the motherfuckers don't even get hit. But, right. his, re, but his refusal well, to retire has found him competing in fights that do little more than taint his legacy. The latest came in the form of a second round knockout against a. Marginally decent mixed martial art. Uh, this motherfucker wasn't even a, a boxer for real. Nah, he wasn't. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga challenged a mixed martial artist to a boxing match. Yeah. Like, come on. You know he's probably talking that shit like, man, mixed martial art is way better than boxing. I can knock shit out of fucking <laughs> Yeah, you really know you were, yeah. Or something like yeah. that. He said, on a card that featured a grappling and pro wrestling match. So this was, uh, this was... Like a, a series of different types of matches, mm. so they they had like a fake match and then a real boxing match in the same night. It says Jones sixty three and nine is still a good record with forty six KOs defeats Viren Phillips in the headlining fight of URS show. I don't know what the fuck that is. Exactly, never heard of it. <laughs> I know some un, unknown ass <laughs> live stream service. I, I, I think me That's mentioning them na- their name gave them more subscribers and shit. <laughs> probably. Pro- we probably got more views than them, man. <laughs> what was originally proposed as a horrible idea for Jones to face a fan for a prize of $100,000 if they could defeat him was changed when the Arizona Boxing and MMA Commission shut it down in favor of finding somebody with at least a little combat sport experience. So this motherfucker was going to fight an actual fan with no experience. <laughs> and it was like, uh-uh, <laughs> nigga, stop it. <laughs> you going to fight somebody with at least some skill. Yeah. <laughs> and so after going through 1,500 entries, the 33-year-old Phillips was selected. His combat sports experience is limited to being 6-1 and one in an amateur boxing contest and a five and three professional MMA record. <laughs> his boxing, Amateur. his boxing uh, uh, accolades. He unlocked all achievements on fight night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, Roy Jones was killing it in fight night 04. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. o- 04. Yeah, man. <laughs> they put that he, nigga in the game. Now he gonna be the punching bag. He he once completed as a twelve year old Mike Tyson's <laughs> knockout. Like, come the fuck on. What is this supposed to be, yo? Like. In a fake sparring match as a baby, he knocked out a pro fighter, pretendly. <laughs> I just put <laughs> stupid shit Punch on Punch out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That, that was certainly a far cry from some this of the wasn't even an undefeated rookie. Prime. Yeah, he... He, <laughs> <laughs> he had a loss in amateur, man. He was just a regular nigga. <laughs> <laughs> on the street, man. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> the fight carried on. As one would expect, <laughs> with Jones needing only one punch, a counter right hand in the second round to flatten his opponent. To make matters worse, Jones teased continuing his boxing career while comparing himself to Michael Jordan in his post. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> he got one win on a fan. He said he's going to continue his career, man. Oh my Crazy God. Crazy thing is, the fan really made it to round two, though. Oh, yeah, he did. He made it to round two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that right there in itself is a disgrace. Jones should be ashamed of himself. He really should. He said, I wouldn't challenge Michael Jordan in a one-on-one for 100K, Jones said. That guy has amazing heart to just try the f- defeat. He went out and challenged the best. And then that, I think that was, that was pretty much all. 
Uh, this is from the guy he knocked out. I'd like mm-hmm. to see Roy go away from this. Even the dude that got knocked out said so he'd like to see Roy quit. Like, <laughs> oh, oh. Motherfucker said, I'd like to see Roy go away from this. <laughs> Maybe coach. I don't want to see him get hurt. And this motherfucker got knocked out by Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I put God. up a good fight, and uh, this is the yeah. first time I've ever put on boxing gloves in my life. Oh, wow. He uh, finds somebody like, fresh out the box. Yeah. He's like, I'm ashamed to say that I got a couple licks in on Roy, and <laughs> if I was actually good, that would be his ass. <laughs> and I if, cool. I if I had and trained I cool. for this, he would have been dead by now. Uh, matter of fact, this was on a one-day notice. Frankly, they, they paid me to take a dive. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, Roy Jones promoter came up to me and said, "If I touch, put, if I put one finger on Roy, they would kill my whole family." <laughs> uh, really, I honestly got a cramp in my left leg about midway through the second round. I really just wanted the fight to be over, so I laid down. <laughs> I he told the head of the venue my stomach was aching. <laughs> he said, I want some burger King. It was a pretty even fight, and I didn't eat breakfast that morning. So. <laughs> Had I ate my Wheaties, it would have been over in the first round. Hey, it would be some shit if Roy fell the drug test and shit. Like, this shit regulated. You better not be on Roy's, bro. Like, how you on Roy's and you you, you still taking L? He, he need to get on them Roy's quick, man. I don't know what he not. He need to get on them Roy's, though. He need, to, like, he need that Subway diet, man. <laughs> I know. He need that Jared diet, man. Fuck that, man. This nigga about to die in the ring, Bam Bam Bigelow style. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yo, uh, Is it speaking, too soon? I don't know. <laughs> speak, speaking too of washed soon. up. That shit was like 60 years ago, man. <laughs> uh, speaking of washed up niggas fighting, uh, Cat Williams got yeah, into uh, a fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> was, was he, didn't, he fight, uh, didn't he fight a little kid? A yeah, kid was kid? taller than him. And did he still get his ass up? Yeah. He can't put hands on it. Let me let me find the video right quick. I think Philly Link. Let me uh go to World Star right quick, man. Kid laid him out. <laughs> that shit that shit's so funny. He tried, he snuck the kid too. Like, come on. Shit shit had no effect on him neither. And then it was like, yeah. hold up, this kid is like fifteen. Well, no, they said he was like fifteen or something in the in like in the seventh the, grade. In the seventh grade. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, they said at the beginning of the video. That boy got held back. Like three times. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Seven? <laughs> Seven great? Yeah, I just, I'm saying, I, I looked at the video, I was like, you big as shit. You know what to do there. <laughs> 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 Are you going to do that? Are you going to do that? Are you going to do that? He caught the kid. He got, came back. Boy got his ass whooped in Philly. I guess he went to <laughs> That was Meek Mill's son, though. Yeah. He got him in that hole. Motherfucker been watching the UFC, put that nigga in a rear naked choke and shit. <laughs> the camera like, stop, man. I'm tired. <laughs> He's too old to be doing that, man. Tell me that's your chop. Tell me that's your chop. Where was he even, where was he even at? He trying to... You nah. talking shit on the ground, man. Stand up. I know he can't. He, he too tired to stand up. <laughs> he broke oh, his legs. He, oh, he broke something. Oh. <laughs> he too old to be fighting. Though. He broke. He, said he broke. Yeah, he probably broke it. Broke his whole hip and shit. <laughs> oh, he getting out. Hold on. He still oh, he ain't, though, but he, he ain't stand up yet. <laughs> Where was he at? Like, why was he? At? <laughs> you know, you know, he got his ass beat. He's sitting down and reflecting on what he, what just happened and shit. <laughs> that boy rocking. <laughs> He writing a summary of what happened. <laughs> look at look at his what's up with his hairline. That's what happened when you perm your shit all the damn time. Nah, nah, that's <laughs> that's shit going. That shit at the top of his skull and yeah. shit, dog. This motherfucker got that monk cut and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. Dog, somebody, I'm I'm like, I'm gonna show you something. Somebody linked this on uh on Tumblr. But what what is wrong with that motherfucker? What happened to him? He on the mm-hmm. rocks, boy. And he 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 been he he been dissing Kevin Hart and, and Chris yeah, Rock yeah. and shit. Yeah. Like, about that. He tried to Kevin Hart to a fight, and, and you definitely ain't beat Kevin Hart. You can't beat this little kid up. I mean, Kevin, yeah, Kevin Hart is short, cool. but oh um, yeah, he's swole too though. Yeah, look, look, look at how this. short this motherfucker is. Look at this shit. <laughs> Somebody posted this shit on Tumblr, yo. <laughs> 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 it do look like that. They got a side by side of the loving basketball thing with uh with that dark ass nigga holding. They the same got, complexion too. That's what's crazy. 
Oh shit! That, 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 who is that? that? That's not Tay Diggs. Who is that? They got the that's same. That's uh, Omar Epps. Or so. What's his yeah, name? Yeah, that's Omar Epps. Yeah, they, got, they both yeah. got the same hairlines too. No, no, stop it, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> you that said he got the same hairline as us. Not late and shit. Both of them, they both got the same <laughs> hairline. Yo, look at the girl. She got the same thing as he did. That's crazy. Damn. That kid beat his ass. Hey, he sucker punched the kid. Then, yeah, then he said, did. Then said, "Back off me, little like the look like the kid started it." Like, you know, maybe, maybe he did. Maybe the kid was talking shit. Like, like the kid didn't know, know who he was and shit. That's a fucking shame, man. Goddamn. There shame. ain't no, there ain't no coming back from this now. Anybody that was <laughs> riding for Kevin, anybody that was riding for Cat Williams, this is hard. It's got to be difficult. You know, man. you know what's next, though. You know what's next, man. What? Cat Williams versus Roy Jones, man. That's next, though. Oh mm. shit, that ain't happening. <laughs> Roy Jones would destroy it, though. He probably would. But you got you got to make this fight, man. Roy washed up. Kevin, I mean not Kevin. Uh, Cat washed up. You got to make the fight happen, dog. It's just like how you ain't got enough strength as a grown man to knock out a fifteen year old kid. And, and he can't even he couldn't even get the kid off of him. Nah, nah. The, he, that's because the kid weighed more than him. He tossing him around yeah, like a rag. He's pretty. Ball. He's pretty thin. Yeah. Yeah, but still, man. Like you still, you gotta, have, you gotta, have, you got that grown man strength, man. You, you still I mean, got a little bit 15, of strength. Fifteen. I mean, he's still pretty. You know. I know, but when you get older, you sort of get some some grown. I don't know. I you call yeah, it the like grown man strength. Forty to fifty or something. Now. You get that muscle. You get that. I don't know, man. You get muscles. You get new muscles. <laughs> I know. You just you just you just you get, you you get stronger. After you no, you get. I think the thing is, you get angry. Like you get you deal with all the stress of being an adult and all the bullshit, so you just naturally just become stronger. Like, oh, taxes! Yeah, just fuck free this. Shit. I ain't got enough money to pay my bills this fucking month. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I think as a, as an adult, like, oh man, you ever been Bush as, as an adult? How old are you, Flip? Uh, eighteen. All right, well you getting there. Like, w- like you ever you you come on, do this, Philly. I think I'm having a stroke or something. <laughs> I know, you sound like <laughs> <laughs> you have, uh, has, <laughs> has it ever been like Tuesday and you don't got enough money to get food for the rest of the week? Oh yeah, yeah. So you just be like, how the fuck am I making it to Friday? <laughs> Like, how the hell am I going to do this? You, you, you got to suck a nigga dick, man. That's no. Shit. Sometimes you got to make the right decisions. boy. <laughs> yeah. <Yo. Make this. laughs> you you got to make those decisions to eat, man. No, you just got to eat ramen for every fucking uh, yeah, meal. Man. You know, I got a lifetime supply of ramen, and my shit is like two months old. It's past the expiration date. I don't Them know shits expire? That shit. Yeah. Like, they did? <laughs> I didn't know. I've never seen an expire. I've never somebody I mean, seen somebody look at ramen and be like, "Shit, old! I gotta throw this out." I've never that, seen that happen. I've been having I, these shits for like three years. Yeah, that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, I can all, Well, I bought this shit from Amazon. That shit probably was sitting there for seven <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> years. He bought it from the cardboard. That box, shit was in the bin for five years, bro. <laughs> the shit was on <laughs> sale. It was a lightning sale. I had to. <laughs> that shit was cheap, man. Yeah, but it was. <laughs> 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 And that, and that shit fire, by the way. You keep talking shit, but that shit was fire, though. Know? <laughs> I bet absolute... it was fire coming out your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fire food. Hey, you know, you, you know something. You, you know something that you ain't ain't right. You you shit instantly. Like you get, yeah. you get well, like, I, ain't done, I ain't even done eating. Why I got food? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man, my stomach is killing me. <laughs> That's that shit. I've been through. I remember sometimes. I don't know what it is, whether I'm lactose intolerant or what. But I'll be drinking milk, and then halfway through the glass, I'll be like, "Yep, I'm a shit like a motherfucker." <laughs> like later tonight. You know that shit ain't good. You take a bite, and your, your your stomach gone, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, so I remember like... I took a, a mean shit last week. She was like, grrr, grrr, grrr. as soon as I started, <laughs> it was like, I found it. It's not like somebody was. It's not like somebody was running the water for a bathtub and shit. I was like, damn. Somebody was beatboxing on your ass cheeks. Shit. <laughs> shit sound like Dougie Fresh when he came out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit, man. Diarrhea, boy. <laughs> uh, di- Speaking of diarrhea, Batman versus Superman. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, you heard about Batman versus Superman, Flip, man? Yeah, I heard the reviews weren't good. You, you said they weren't good? Yeah, I don't know. I saw I saw reviews too, and they were like, oh, "This is the best movie ever." Really? Ben Affleck gonna win an Oscar. I was like, "Damn!" I don't know. I might so, just have to see it myself. Oh, like I don't I don't know, man. People, there's been there's been a lot of good word of mouth, and people are saying the actors was pretty good. 
So I, I don't know. Uh, what, what 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 were some of the people saying that you said like you said it was bad? What what were the people saying that, um, said that made the reviews? I don't know. Like I was just looking up um some stuff. <laughs> you made that shit up, flip man. Yeah, <laughs> Tell the <that's> truth. <laughs> like shit. Well, I mean, you put me nah. on the spot like that. Was, <laughs> nobody told me. I just <laughs> just, just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> My mind said that it was bad, even though yeah. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I really, I had a dream and shit, and, and a dream that. <laughs> man, flip, really? man, come on, man. <laughs> where, where you at, man? What are these reviews at? All right, hold on, let me look that. Up. <laughs> you gotta look it up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna Google bad, bad ever some <laughs> reviews. <laughs> they gonna be like, we, we need to get them on all the reviews, man. They gonna be like, look. I ain't watch it, but I know a guy said this shit was, said it wasn't, you know, up to par. So, <laughs> I'll be like, what? I think people be doing that shit for real. They just be bullshitting the review. That's what I'm Make saying. I'll be, be, yeah. be thinking to myself, like, what if we just reviewed it? Like, me and you now. Like, let's just do it now. Like, fuck, fuck actually seeing it. Let's just review it and be real 3. vague. 5. Be real show, vague about it. They showed the whole damn thing in the trailer. Shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we probably could review the shit. We'll get the first reviews out every single <laughs> every single time, bro. That is I know, crazy. B- b- before the goddamn critics. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how they seen that shit? Can we get taken down for that shit? <laughs> probably could, because there's, there's a block on reviewing the film and, until it comes out. So. Uh, I see. So, yeah, they would definitely be all up in our ass. Yeah. Might get arrested <laughs> for that shit. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See a story of uh, me getting arrested and leaving them. <laughs> Local podcaster Bushido Spirit, they ain't going to use my real name. <laughs> Bushido Spirit has been arrested today for reviewing Batman vs. Superman too early. God damn. Huh? Uh, but let's, let's move on to some anime shit. Um, we already talked about the uh, United Anime and Viz Media shit. I said United Anime, United Agency and Viz Media shit. Let's talk about, uh, you You watch Shogeki no Summer? Flip. I watched the first couple episodes of it. Oh, flip, man. That show is fire. The best, Yo, the best one thing I didn't understand is why um, why every time somebody eat a food, it look like they're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, fool be, that fool be good, man. You, you ever ate some of shit and you, you want to dance? Not that I be freaking screaming my lungs out, man. I have this honey fantasies and stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, though. If you eat something good, it's like it's having sex with your mouth, man. It's like... I remember as a kid on Thanksgiving, I used to start dancing when I knew I was gonna get something to eat. I don't know why I did it. It was the inner coon in me that made well, me want to dance for some food. I mean, well, Yo, Thanksgiving to be lit, man. But I, I know I, I started dancing. But yeah, Shogeki no Summer is uh, season two. I think they got a date for it now, man. All right. Says fans are excited for Shogeki no Soma anime season two to be aired. The anime's first season has garnered many fans because of the. Mouth-watering dishes that were being displayed on the show. <clears throat> last season's finale was aired last How do you September read like that, boy? 2015. <laughs> and ever read, since then, fans have been waiting for the be reading like you're telling season. a fairy tale and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, in a, long, in a place far, far away. I, man, that's, what you got, that's how you got to read it, man. Get, a little you boy. Try to keep excited, you, man. you try to keep it simple for the kids, man. You, you know to get people excited and shit, man. What, where the fuck is the date for this? They lied in this article title, nigga. I don't see no date nowhere in this motherfucker. Uh, it says, uh, JC Staff Studio is up for the anime second season. And it is to be aired. Th- oh, this... Nigga, <laughs> I should say this summer. Like, no date. I guess we can assume. Uh, I guess we can make conclusions as to what the date is. But uh, it's this ain't no goddamn story. It's, it's, it's coming out summer, I guess. So, there you go. For those who are looking out for that shit right there. And you, you know what? Let's, t- let's take a break on that. Note. You want to take a quick little break? Oh, yeah. yeah. Take a breather. Stop it. Take a take breather. Take a little water let's break. Take. If you're curious about what the fuck we're doing in between episodes, please... Check out our social media accounts, Twitter and Facebook. Also, don't forget to check out the website. Right now, it's kind of plain, but in the future, we will put up special content. Things you won't get anywhere else but on that website. If you prefer not to watch the episode on YouTube, check out the other alternatives. One is SoundCloud, and coming soon is iTunes. Finally. 
Email us with any questions, concerns, or opinions. We will read those emails, probably even on the show. So if you have any questions, have any concerns, or opinions, please email us. The address for all these things will be in the video.